Hey everyone, welcome back to Yusuf Reacts, where we dive into the latest and greatest in the world of movies. Today, we're shrinking down to the size of an ant to explore the Marvel Cinematic Universe's most pint-sized hero. That's right, we're talking about Ant-Man 2015. Let's get in tight. Ant-Man is a unique entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, bringing a mix of heist film excitement and superhero action. Directed by Peyton Reed, this film introduces us to Scott Lang. Played by Paul Rudd, a thief with a heart of gold who takes on the mantle of Ant-Man. But before we dive deeper, let's check out the official synopsis. Armed with the astonishing ability to shrink in scale but increase in strength, Scott Lang must embrace his inner hero and help his mentor, Dr. Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas, protect the secret behind the spectacular Ant-Man suit from a new generation of towering threats. Against seemingly insurmountable obstacles, Pym and Lang must plan and pull off a heist that will save the world. First off, let's talk about the cast. Paul Rudd brings his signature charm and humor to the role of Scott Lang, making him an instantly likable protagonist. Michael Douglas adds Gravitas as the original Ant-Man, Doctor. Hank Pym, and let's not forget Evangeline Lilly as Hope Van Dyne, who brings a fierce determination to her role. The chemistry between the characters is palpable, and it adds a lot to the film's dynamic. Paul Rudd's comedic timing meshes perfectly with Michael Douglas's more serious demeanor, creating a balanced and engaging narrative. One of the standout elements of Ant-Man is its unique approach to action scenes. The shrinking and enlarging effects are visually stunning and provide a fresh take on the superhero genre. The film's climax, featuring a battle on a child's train set, is both hilarious and thrilling, showcasing the creativity behind the movie's concept. The visual effects team did an incredible job making the miniaturized world look believable and exciting. The shift in perspective adds a whole new dimension to the action sequences. Let's also give a shout-out to the supporting cast. Michael P. as Louis steals every scene he's in with his comedic storytelling, adding a layer of fun to the film. Corey Stoll as the villainous Darren Cross, Aka Yellow Jacket, brings a menacing presence. Although some might find his character a bit one-dimensional, Michael P.'s performance is a highlight, providing much-needed comic relief. His tip montages are some of the funniest moments in the film. The soundtrack, composed by Christoph Beck, complements the film perfectly, blending heist movie vibes with superheroic themes. It's catchy, memorable, and elevates the film's tone. The music enhances the heist atmosphere, making every scene more engaging and fun. Overall, Ant-Man is a refreshing addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It doesn't take itself too seriously and delivers a fun, action-packed adventure with heart. If you're looking for a movie that's entertaining and unique, Ant-Man is definitely worth a watch. Armed with a super suit with the astonishing ability to shrink in scale but increase in strength, cat burglar Scott Lang must embrace his inner hero and help his mentor, Dr. Hank Pym, pull off a plan that will save the world. Armed with the astonishing ability to shrink in scale but increase in strength, con. Man Scott Lang must embrace his inner hero and help his mentor, Dr. Hank Pym, protect the secret behind his spectacular Ant-Man suit from a new generation of towering threats. Against seemingly insurmountable obstacles, Pym and Lang must plan and pull off a heist that will save the world. In 1989, scientist Hank Pym Michael Douglas resigns from S. Hyrule, led by Howard John Slattery and Peggy Haley at 12. After discovering their attempt to replicate his Ant-Man shrinking technology, believing the technology is dangerous, Pym vows to hide it as long as he lives. Mitchell Carson wanted to force Hank to surrender the technology but is stopped by Howard and Peggy. Pym had developed the Pym Particle which reduces the distance between atoms while increasing density and strength. In the present day, Pym's estranged daughter, Hope Van Dyne Evangeline Lilly, and former protege, Darren Cross Corey Stoll, have forced him out of his company, Pym Technologies. 
Cross is close to perfecting a shrinking suit of his own, the Yellow Jacket, which horrifies Pin. The Yellow Jacket is a highly weapon-laden version of his own shrinking suit and can have devastating consequences if put into production. Unknown to Darren, Hope is spying for Pym and wants Pym to give her his original suit to defeat Darren. But Pym steadily refuses to do that and then asks Hope to consider his suggested alternative. However, Darren is having difficulty in achieving a stable molecular reduction, leading to his organic test subjects being reduced to a gooey mass of cells. Eventually, he succeeds. Upon his release from prison, well-meaning thief Scott Lang Paul Rudd moves in with his old cellmate, Luis Michael Penna. Luis's roommates are Kurt David Dast Malkian, who is a computer wizard and then Dave Tip T. I. Harris a pro locksmith. Lang has a master's in electrical engineering and yet cannot land a job due to his past record and has to serve at a Baskin Robbins. While visiting his daughter Cassie Abby Ryder Fortson unannounced, Lang is rebuked by his former wife Maggie Judy Greer and her police detective fiancé Paxton Bobby Cannavale for not providing child support. Maggie asks Lang to get an apartment and to pay child support before he is allowed his visitation rights with Cassie. Unable to hold a job because of his criminal record Lang lies about his past to get the job, but is fired whenever his background check is. Completed, Lang agrees to join Louis' crew and commit a burglary. Lang breaks into a house and cracks its safe, but only finds what he believes to be an old motorcycle suit, which he takes home. Unknown to Lang, the entire burglary was being observed by an ant with a micro camera on it, which was relaying a live feed to Pim. After trying the suit on, Lang accidentally shrinks himself to the size of an insect. Terrified by the experience during which Pim speaks to Lang via his helmet, he returns the suit to the house, but is arrested on the way out. Pim, the homeowner, visits Lang in jail and smuggles the suit into his cell to help him break out with the assistance of ants and flying insects. At his home, Pim, who manipulated Lang through an unknowing Luis into stealing the suit as a test, wants Lang to become the new Ant-Man to steal the yellow jacket from Cross. Pim says that he generates electromagnetic waves to stimulate the ant's olfactory nerves, and is thus able to speak to them and get them to obey his commands. Hope still believes that she can defeat Darren, but Pim is afraid to lose her as he did her mother. Pim explains to Lan that he designed a formula 40 years ago to shrink humans inside his suit, but he hid the formula as it was dangerous. He started his own company, Pim Tech, and then took Darren on as his protege. With time, Darren suspected the existence of Pim's formula. When Pim did not cooperate with Dar, he voted Pim out of his own company. Hope was angry with Pim for the death of her mother and then helped Darren. But then she came back to Pim when she saw that Darren was loco. Pim's plan is to train Lang to use the suit and then to break into Darren's lab steal his suit and then destroy all the data. Pim says that his specially designed helmet helps protect the brain chemistry, something that Darren has ignored in the design of his suit. Having been spying on Cross after discovering his intentions, Hope helps Pim train Lang to fight in the suit and to control ants. While Hope harbors resentment towards Pim about her mother Janet's Haley Lovett death, he reveals that Janet, known as the Wasp, disappeared into a subatomic quantum realm to disable a Soviet nuclear missile it was headed for the US and the only way to disable it was to go subatomic through solid titanium. Pim's own regulator was damaged and so Janet stepped up. Pim warns Lang that he could suffer a similar fate if he overrides his suit's regulator. They send him to steal a device that will aid their heist from the Avengers headquarters where he briefly fights Sam Wilson or Falcon Anthony Mackie. Cross perfects the yellow jacket and hosts an unveiling ceremony at Pym Technologies headquarters. Lang, along with his crew and a swarm of flying ants, infiltrates the building. During the event, sabotages the company's servers and plants explosives. When he attempts to steal the yellow jacket, he, along with Pym and Hope, are captured by Cross who intends to sell both the Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man suits to Hydra, led by former S. Hyrule D. Officer Mitchell Carson Martin Donovan. 
Lang breaks free and he and Hope dispatch most of the Hydra agents, though Carson is able to flee with a vial of cross particles. Lang pursues Cross as he escapes, while the explosives detonate, imploding the building. Cross dons the yellow jacket and attacks Lang before Lang is arrested by Paxton. His mind addled by the imperfect shrinking technology, Cross takes Cassie hostage to lure Lang into another fight. Lang overrides the regulator and shrinks to subatomic size to penetrate. Cross suit and sabotage it to shrink uncontrollably, killing Cross. Lang disappears into the quantum realm, but manages to reverse the effects and returns to the macroscopic world. In gratitude for Lang's heroism, Paxton covers for Lang to keep him out of prison. Seeing that Lang survived and returned from the quantum realm, Kim wonders if his wife is alive as well. Later, Lang meets up with Luis, who tells him that Wilson is looking for him. In a mid-credits scene, Kim shows Van Dyne a new Wasp prototype suit and offers it to her. In a post-credits scene, Wilson and Steve Rogers have Bucky Barnes in their custody. Unable to contact Tony Stark because of the Accords, Wilson mentions that he knows someone who could help. Ant-Man, when I first heard about the plans for this movie I laughed to myself and thought, how can becoming smaller be cool? Sure enough, Marvel has surpassed my expectations and turned. Something I thought would be lame and uninteresting into something hilarious and actually pretty cool. I'm not going to include any spoilers, but I will say the fighting style of Ant-Man is much better than I thought it would be. I learned a lot about the story as well as the abilities he has. Ant-Man gets much more interesting when doing combat. The ability to shrink and grow at will is something Marvel has gotten very creative with. So, what do you think of Ant-Man? Did it live up to your expectations? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more movie reviews and content. Until next time, stay awesome.